vice chief of the army i would uh, in interest of time say all other um, men in uniform and off uniform uh, friends from industry it's a matter of privilege to be present in a divine place uh, like uh, amrita and genuinely get uh, that extra booster dose of some uh, sant the way jans are defined is the spirituality and technology it's not the science and technology if we really look at uh, where uh, we are going in the defense uh, we be a bit late uh, to start about a decade uh, post liberalization that happened in the 92 in india nine it's 2002 onwards the sector was truly thrown open and this amazing uh, changes in the policy and the policy of inclusion of private sector which started happening i would say last couple of years we more or less have now every possible uh, avenue uh, which is open to the private sector to participate and while we do that uh, from the chambers with uh, able support of uh, media partners like defense aviation post we actually trying to go more and more spread out and say uh, anyone who obviously has some good innovative solutions but have problems those problems obviously need an answer and problems is not only in the industry problems are there for the armed forces and those armed forces uh, problems is precisely what jan saha uh, two years back decided that uh, we need to be voicing them out share them with the industry and while we share with the industry the solutions will start emerging now this trust that indian industry is capable competent and can handle not just innovation but fundamental design development from that science and technology perspective to actually take it to mature solutions is a journey and obviously in that journey there is nothing like the top echelons of uh, the armed forces when they participate it only means a serious commitment to this initiative and jan uh, jan uh, chand i see really your presence to be from that perspective to say right across anywhere any of those uh, latent domains in which the industry can do lots of work uh, coimbatore has been a precision engineering domain uh, this has been the kind of uh, now center for industry to do things which most of the country could not really have achieved we started uh, listening decades back of one one lakh rpm kind of uh, spindles and that's something which started happening right in this place so precision is in the blood in in coimbatore and it is that which we actually see across industry segments uh, today uh, doing wonderful things anil raksha mantri today looks at this location as coimbatore to be a very very major future hub for doing innovation in defense and aerospace and that's actually a reason uh, through fiki and through the thinking um, uh, let's say channels we decided that we need to be doing a very very significant event of the solutions to the problems problems are known problems were articulated talked and then we suddenly starts noticing that within 6 months to 9 months the enough number of solutions which are emerging and today is a day actually to look at some of those solutions and with those solutions to actually take that entire initiative uh, forward in terms of making those indigenous solutions for indian wars to be fought with indian solutions uh, make in india has been an amazing kind of uh, uh, initiative by the prime minister and it's exactly now little more than 3 years old and in this 3 years old we has uh, uh, of time we have actually seen huge amount of policy initiatives to make that thing streamlined while it is getting streamlined we are seeing that over those precisely 3 and a half years there is a huge amount of commitment to buy from indian sources there is roughly 400000 crores worth of programs which are going to be uh, sourced from industry out of which two third is going to be bought from indian industry and that's a huge statement for a government to make and obviously then it's for industry the user and varieties of uh, enablers to actually say that how do we make it happen how do we make it cost effective because our budgets are always going to be constrained 
and through the same budget can you deliver more can you deliver more of a force multiplier so it actually does far more than doing one job and that's an innovation we know as indians all of us are extremely good at and that's precisely what is expected going forward when we start offering so one one success uh, story in terms of just to say uh, dealing with armed forces is not about the latent uh, i mean not uh, uh, dealing with what is known but the latent needs of the uh, user and that's precisely where the user and industry when they work hand in hand one can genuinely design build and deliver something which can do multiple things and that's something which comes to in a way Uh, the indian industry in terms of what we always called as the jugaad the the idea today is not to do jugaads the idea today is to make the same jugaad so efficient that it can do multiple things given the imagination of the man who is actually going to be using it idea is to enable those things happen in the, that form of uh, innovation and that's precisely what is going forward we don't really see today bulk of the policy issues to be stopping i mean they they still being resolved but as the policies start getting implemented another one or two years down the line we'll really see the flood gets truly open and at that stage we'll actually see some of those solutions which are emerging to be actually getting into production and contributing to the make in india uh, welcome to all of you as chairman of the fiki defense committee it's my proud privilege uh, along with Uh, our media uh, uh, partner uh, defense aviation post amrita university who actually have been amazing guest i mean amazing host uh, to actually have so many guests coming out from different parts of the country and provide all kind of facilities to make this kind of industry meet happen thank you so much look forward to the day